Hi everyone. Uh, it's pollen season here. I just we got a little bit of rain this afternoon. I just turned my windshield wipers on, and the water that ran off the windshield wiper uh, ran off the windshield was yellow. <laughs> this is the most pollen polleny place I've ever seen. There are some years where it's so bad from the pine trees that if the wind blows, it actually drifts like snow. But uh, anyway, the story that I wanted to tell was one I was thinking about. This is a story for Mama Janet. Um, uh, and uh, this is a story. And again, I, I hope if I tell this story incorrectly that she'll correct it um, and at least make a note on the comments or whatever. But uh, so Mama and Papa got married when they were very young. Mama was 15, had just finished the 10th grade. I think Papa was 18, had just finished boot camp, I think, I hope, when they, uh, of the Navy. I, again, I may have some of the details slightly wrong. And, but just children. I mean, really, really just children. I mean, keep in mind, you know, Mama was, three years two no two years yeah three years younger than sierra is right now um it's just, anyway um but but the story so so when when they got married um mama papa was stationed in in chicago a great lakes naval base or whatever it's called and so mama took the train and this would have been 1960, I suppose, um, that she took a train from Birmingham to Chicago by herself when she was 15. My understanding is that she had never been away from home overnight before. Uh, and, and if I remember incorrectly, I guarantee you that she did not she had not spent many nights away from home anyway, either way. So I think about this, uh, and that's kind of the story that she, you know, Mama, uh, Mama Welch, who was her mother, I think drove her to Birmingham, if I understand correctly, where she could get the train. And then she went on the train and, and off she went to Chicago. And when I was growing up and I heard this story, I really didn't think much about it. I thought, oh, well, you know, that's a nice, neat little story or whatever. But as I grew up and had children of my own and saw, and saw what a 15-year-old is like, or, you know, not even in a bad way, but just how a 15-year-old is still a child. Then, and as the older I've got, the, the more amazed I've gotten and, and respect, I have to say, gained for M Mama Janet for doing this thing at 15 years old. And I also tell you, they'll tell you the truth too, as I've gotten older, I realize I just can't imagine a 15 year old girl today going on her trip by herself and not being, you know, at risk of being you know, trafficked or whatever. And, and who knows, maybe back in 1960, Mama Janet was at risk. Of their, maybe I'm sure she was at risk of something like that happening, uh, but probably less so than now. But, uh, but anyway, it's just, it, it's just, it's, it's just, it's just incredible to me that, that she did this uh, at that age. So uh, anyway, that's my story for Mama Janet today. I think I have a couple more I can think of that she's told me and I'll share those uh, another time. Okay, love you.